hi welcome back to my channel my name is laura and today i am going over an october flip of my coco daisy i decided in october that i would try the rings uh so i bought a planner for ten dollars they were on clearance so i got a cope uh carp diem um planner and this one i got for ten dollars uh it, they were on clearance and it's just a binder that has rings so um i wanted to try it out so here is my finished october um i liked it so much that i did buy november uh so i am currently using a november one but i changed the green to a different color um and i'm going to do a flip through of this which is what i'm storing out i took it out it got really fat so here is my october see how fat and chunky it got so i took october out and i stuck it on these rings i believe i got the rings from either um dollar tree or i got them from uh, tj maxx uh so i just put these rings just to store it out so um okay so here is what i did in october um i got this from carp dm uh and it was a plastic thing and i just left it on the top so it would cover uh, my book and keep it safe so that's the cover and now this is the coco daisy um the the a5 planner insert uh it comes with a tab which is really nice now um i did not use this page and uh in november i still didn't use this so i don't know what i'm gonna do on this page in the future uh it's just so i could look up the calendar i guess i got the washi idea for this uh from julie deal mooney um and she has a youtube channel so i will put the link to her channel below uh so i used my own washi tape and made the background for that and I made another divider and it says month at a glance. Uh, then I did this here. It says this month in October, um, I used a card, uh, a four by six card and I filled it in each week. I did it week one, week two, week three, week four, week five. And then I put the best things that I liked in the that month in that box. Uh, so that worked out really well um yeah and then i got this idea from uh christine from coco daisy i'll put her link as well she does these bookmarks and i really like that idea so i put the bookmark for october in here and then i also put this was uh put a sticky note on it i actually had my sticky pad on here but i took it off uh because i'm just storing this now uh, so the sticky note is uh, somewhere else. And here's the uh, calendar for October. And then um, this page I did that I wrote my notes of what I was doing. So I did um, Inktober in um, October. And I also did List has Got a List. So, um, and I tried to do the Fobonichi challenges, but I didn't really follow through on that. But that's where I put my notes uh, what I wanted to do in October. So here's my calendar for October. I did fill this in and I wrote all my appointments and what we did that day um, and lots of doctor appointments and stuff. Then I had my goals was um, to put God first every day to read the Bible, which I kind of fell behind on, uh, to pray every day, which I do every in the morning and to trust God always. Um, and then I also put this chart here, um, when to change my sheets. So I remember to do it every other week. Uh, so I wrote this in here. So that worked out good. So that's my October. And then this page, um, it had the whole, um, it had the whole uh, year on it. And what I did was I covered it up with washi. I'm going to flip it so you can see it better. Okay. So this line here had the month so it said january february march and i covered it up with washi and then it said Mar april may june and i covered that up with washi and then i used my favorite photos for the 
the month and I put two by two photos. I punched them out with my two by two punch and I stuck them on here. So it worked out really well. Um, I love the Christmassy feel that's coming up. Um, we're getting ready for December daily and I told my daughter stand in front of the cards because they were putting them out in October. So I got that nice picture there. I got some nice fall pictures. I got some new nanos. So there's that picture there. This is when we went to get our flu shots. Uh, and then we have driving. So all three were doing drive as ed in October. And then I made my new desk and then I had Daisy got a haircut. So that's captured for my favorites. I put the tab up here, favorites uh, for October and it worked out really well. And I'm gonna do definitely continue that in the month of November. Okay, so then I just made a uh, folder type thing and I cut, I got this off of Pinterest and I just printed it out and stuck it on there. I really like the, the girl reading. I really need to read. I know this is a YouTube channel that I started about reading, but I fell behind on my reading since COVID. I haven't been reading that much at all, uh, but I've been doing my creative things. So um, yeah, so I like this and she's drinking coffee and I just stuck it on there. And this is Coco Daisy, the background paper of their kits. Um, I really liked it. It looks like wood to me and I just used it as a um, pocket page. So I'm gonna flip it away. So here's the pocket and I made a pocket page. I don't have anything in it yet, uh, but I did make that pocket for October. Okay, uh, this is um, the um, vellum page sheet that they give us and I just liked it and I just stuck it in my book. So at least I used it. Then I made these tabs from, uh, I'm, I believe this is from um, Christine from Coco Daisy. She made these tabs. I believe it was her. It could have been Julie, uh, but I think it was Christine. Uh, and I love that idea because I worked by week and I, I liked... Um, I like to number my weeks. So I did week 40 and I did this on my Photoshop and then I printed out this here. This October thing is the freebie that we get uh, as being a subscriber. They give us a freebie uh, that we could print out. And I really liked making the tabs and I will continue doing that in the month of November and December. Okay, so on to these colorful pages. I didn't know what to do with these colorful pages. And what I decided to do was just put a quote on every single day. Now I stamped the numbers. So this is October 1st, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. Um, and I just filled up the page on the top because that was September. Um, and then every day I would look on Pinterest and I would find the quote that talk to me and then I would write the quote in each box. So that worked out really nice. And I liked doing that. I am continuing that in November. Okay, so let's go back to here. Now, going back to my favorite photos. So this page is my favorite photos for the week. And I try to capture as much as I can in my memory planning. So, um, yeah, this one, I actually put the days on it. I don't think I continue doing that. But because I only had one, two, three, and four, four days to work with, I was able to do that and label it one, two, three, and four. Um, so here we go. Here's my four photos for the month. I'm going to bring it up closer so you can see it. Um, okay, so the first, on October 1st, I took a picture of me and Daisy. Let's see that. I'm making sure I get it in there. So um, I just put the photo. I printed these by three, two, three by four. I think these are three by four. Let me check my ruler. It might be smaller. I use a Canon selfie when I print my pictures. Uh, so no, actually this is a two by three. Two by three is the photo size, okay? So I usually print four photos per page and I get two by three photos. So here's me and Daisy on day one. Here is day two, the president got COVID and I included that in my book. 
day three is um, I picked up donuts. So I took a picture of them with their donuts. And then day four, I uh, we went shopping. I think we, we went to shop right that day. So it's grocery shopping with my girls. Uh, and then um, that's what I did for that that week. Um, my favorites of the week. Okay, so on to this page. Now, I she gives us a lot of daily to do pages, and I don't have that much to do. I do fill it up as much, but on, this is my week. So this is my week at a glance. Uh, these are my must dos. These are my calls and my emails. This is my to-do list and it continues down here. This is mostly my to-do list. And then here on the bottom, there's boxes, which I make a menu plan. I put menu plan here. I do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then I put uh, what we ate that for dinner. And then I also note who cooked it. So, um, so at least I got some um, I got some relief this week, uh, because notice some of my, uh, family members cooked dinner for us and I was, I didn't have to cook. So that's a good thing. Um, I, the, right here is a, um, a thing that you do with water. You count your water, your water tracker, and I don't use it. So I just cover it up. I covered it up with, um, I think this is a cocoa daisy, uh, thing that they put in our um, preview type thing where I get the colors to match my markers so that's where I got this image from and I love sunflowers so I had to add that into my book um, I also put don't don't forget the little stickers I think this is a freebie from Coco Daisy also the October is a freebie the remember is a freebie as well so that's how I did it and I do it for the week then the next page, uh, I continue, um, it's the daily to do again. So I just wrote noted and what I had to do. And then, uh, I did a 15 minute pickup. I folded laundry. I put that there. Now, uh, this time I did what I learned this week. And then I wrote down what exactly I learned. Um, I did manifesting uh, scripting, I am, I have, I love, what and why, um, and then just, just things that I learned that week. So, um, that's what I wrote down. Then this page is Lister's Got a List. I love making lists. So I found on Pinterest another list to go by for the month of October. And, uh, here I am doing my lists in my notebook. Um, so I cut the page. I, broke the page up into four because this week there was only four days uh, in the week. Uh, so I cut the page in fours and then I just journaled. So the first one was, day one was, what are you working on? Day two was favorite September memories. Uh, day three was things that bring me joy. And day four is ways I treat myself. So um, yeah. So I really like that. And I used the Coco Daisy little dotty things and I uh, cut this out on my um, Big Shot. So um, I cleaned my room up so I'm able to get to my Big Shot now. So you'll be seeing more of that in my scrapbooking and, and journaling. Okay, so the next page is... Um, I did a Hello Week and things to buy things I watched and things I read. So I just broke it up like that. And then the next page I did, um, um, October goals is the first one here. And then this fall to do, I did a to do list for the fall. And then on the third trust God. And on the fourth, the third and the fourth, they, um, not enough room to write. So I take the next page. So if you notice, I did the four here and I put an arrow saying on the fourth day, I'll turn the page and I would have more writing. I would use this, the, um, the stamp set there and I use some washi tape and some embellishments. And the next page is the seasons of change, which is top seven challenges that I was doing in the month of October. So 
so that's what I did on that page. And then we are on week 41, which is the next week. So I have these tops here. I really like how I um, really like how it breaks out the week. So now we're on the next week and um, I made this, which is a borders page. Um, and I just did some doodles that week. And I just wanted to learn how to do different doodles. Of course, I probably got this from Pinterest. And um, yeah, I just sat down one day and just drew. Uh, and it was a fun thing to do. So I wrote, I wrote borders on here and that was cool. So the next page is, is just a uh, page that I use with the post-it notes. Now they didn't stick down, so I had to use tape um, uh, to hold the post-it notes down so they wouldn't pop up. Uh, but yeah, this was actually copied from Christine from Coco Daisy. Um, yeah. Okay. So we're on the next week and this is all my quotes. Uh, and, um, there was a special day on October 9th. Um, uh, my, uh, niece who passed away when she was a baby, she would have been 12 years old. So I had, I noted it in my book. So that's why there's a butterfly here. Um, I, butterflies significant, uh, signify her and when we see the butterfly we know that she's around and she's watching over us so that's why i have a butterfly here and i pun actually punched that out of um the coco daisy stickers um i just punched it out and made it made my own sticker there okay so here is my favorite photos of the week and uh, this time I didn't number it and I only had enough room to put four photos so um, I had to eliminate some photos but uh, these are my favorites for the week so um, I'm changing a bad habit of skipping breakfast I'm still skipping breakfast but I'm trying my hardest to eat breakfast so that's that there I finished my first pocket journal from Dollar Tree so I put that there um, this is a Thursday selfie, um, and this is my new sparrows. I got a Nano Fergus, and I got a Bingley, Bingley Blue. So, yeah, so I noted it in my notebook. Those are so pretty. I love the gold and the, and the blue. So pretty. Okay, so here is my week at a glance. Um, again, my must-dos, my calls my to-do list and then I didn't have much room I I mean I didn't fill it in so I stuck some pictures in there some stickers and then on the bottom is my meal plan I love having the meal plan here it works out great I did uh change two things and notice this week I cooked everything so I didn't have much of a break this week but uh yeah so Okay, so the next one, I did what I learned this week. And I put what I'm watching, what I'm reading, what I'm listening to. So that's what I stuck on that page. And then on this page, now remember the last time I did the list, I had enough room because there was only four days for that week. But this time there's seven days. So I had to make a flip out thing. So here's my list has got a list. It opens up to the five, six, which five is favorite flowers, six is positive things, and then it flips to seven, which is three things I wish I did differently, and then eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eight is my love language is uh, physical touch. My uh, nine is um, I have trip. Uh, I am unique. Uh, and then I had to write five different things that I am unique. Number 10 was pamper me. The number 11 was um, love. I choose you and I'll, I'll choose you over and over. And this is a poem that I got off of Pinterest, I believe. Uh, and it says, I choose you and I'll choose you over and over and over without pause, without a doubt, in a heartbeat. I'll keep choosing you. Love is not what you say. Love is what you do. So I really like that and I stuck that in my book. Okay, the next page is more questions. 
uh, show love is number five. Number six is four words now. Number seven is powerful. And I just highlighted, use my highlights markers for that. And I use some stickers here. And on the eighth, I pray for. On the ninth is mental health to help me. Number 10 is physical health. Now, as I said before, it, it, um, I didn't have much room to write, but I did do the 11th here. And it says fulfilling life includes, and then I put one, two, and then it uh, continues on the next page. Three, four, five, six, and seven. So, yep. Okay, so now we're on to week number 42. And this is uh, October 12th to the 18th. Again, I did the quotes, which I liked every day. And here are my favorite photos for the week. And uh, yeah, I got Victoria in the park. And then I brought Justin to the park one day. And then I started my December daily junk journal. And here's me, I won a manifest, um, manifest fast hat. I won that from Christy Deer. I've been listening to her podcast and I, I can't believe I won it, but I won my hat. And, and that's my favorite photos for the week. And I did some stamping and coloring in and that's that page. And then here's my week uh, daily to do, um, just things that I have to do. And again, I had, see, I don't use the whole thing. Uh, this is for the whole week and I'm not filling up the whole page. So yeah, so that's how I'm doing it there. Okay, the next page, I got some new stamps. So it says, uh, currently this week I'm reading, I'm watching, I got this today, which is stuff I got in the mail. I'm um, listening to. Uh, one thing I learned today, I don't think I wrote anything there, uh, but I started tracking my spending. So I did a spending chart and how much I'm spending from different stores because I've been buying stuff for the scrapbooking and it's starting to get out of hand. So now I have a weekly tracker there. And then here's my list has got a list. And again, I like that idea with the flip out. So here is uh, day 12, uh, I am, and you had to write different things that you are. Uh, 13th was excite me. And the 14th flips tier is Valentine candy. And the 15th is currently reading, watching and listening again. So I'm repeating that again. Number 16, I am pr most proud of. Number 17 is gifts I gave myself. Number 18 is things I love about myself. So, and then I do and more journaling. So I usually do the listers and then I also do a reading, a journaling prompt. So here's my journaling prompts and I'm doing one in each box. So uh, standards to live by and I wrote down these standards, which is really cool. Um, I'm going to read it to you because it's very hard to see. Okay, one, if plan A fails, there are 25 more letters. Two, each moment is a new moment, a chance, an opportunity to make a new choice. Three, do what you can with what you have where you are. Four, make it happen, shock everyone. Five, collect beautiful moments. Six, don't wait for an opportunity to come and create it seven buy less choose well make it last eight don't let anyone turn you cruel nine there is always 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 something to be thankful for ten life does not have to be perfect to be wonderful so i really like that i found it somewhere i i believe and i just put it in my book uh the 13th was improvement so i put cleaning and decluttering uh, and then the 14th is this week I did well, and I wrote what I did well on. And then this 15th is seven things I own that I could live without. And uh, 16 is God helped me. And then the 17th is why I love the Lord. And the 18th, because it's a Sunday, it, I, I needed more room, so it is on the next page. 
and I put more um, my happiest memories this week and I put more photos in here so uh, here is my son and my son when he was little he got a haircut that day so um, yeah so I I liked that photo and this photo is really cool we went to the park and Tori was taking pictures of um, trees and leaves and stuff like that and she walked wandered off and then she came and i was standing there and she was running towards me and i captured this i captured where her hair was like run running i really love this photo so um i put this photo i actually printed it up and put it a lot i put it in her journal i put it in my journal um i just really love how i captured uh that moment and that was just quickly uh taking it by accident yeah so that's that now we're going on to week 43 and week 43 continues with my quotes and then we got here the kids started to drive so drive is ed first time and over here we got flu shots so we went to rite aid uh, actually walgreens and we got our flu shots and then uh here are my kids doing driver's ed for the very first time so i had to capture uh them in there in with the car with the learner's car so that is that and then of course i didn't put anything here i should decorate it but i didn't uh but it's very plain this is my to do for the week so, and then my menu plan is down here. Again, I cooked mostly every day. I didn't know who helped or whatever. And then the next page I did watching, reading, loving, listening. And I did do the weekly spending again with the chart there. So that um, helps me to keep track of what I'm spending. Because so easy is to just press... When you're home, just press go and then it's going on your credit card and it waxes out. So anyway, so here's my list. It's got a list. I did the flippy thing again. So on the 19th is do with friends. Uh, number 20 is beautiful was the prompt. Number 21 is recharge. Number 22 is only I can do. Number 23 is what makes me feel beautiful. Number 24 was people who encourage me. Number 25 was best choices. So, and then I did the journaling prompts, the next page. It says, uh, the 19th was changed my life. Number 20 is powerful encounters with God. Number 21 is describe me. And then 22 is my childhood. And 23 was most important characteristics in a person are, and I liked using the highlighter to highlight my words. So I started using that. These, the highlighting that I'm using is actually a Stampin' Up! marker that matched the kit. So uh, the yellow matched the yellow. Um, and then the 24 is describe the year. And yeah, I wrote quarantine, stuck at home because of COVID-19 since March. Lonely, can't see family or friends. Masked, we have to wear a mask every time we go outside. Canceled, everything was canceled due to COVID-19. Disappointing, it was supposed to be a big year, yet it was very disappointing. So, yeah. And then on the 25th is rest of the year words. And I put um, hopeful, loving, fun, exciting, and thankful. So we are on to the last week. It says this week. This is the last week. And then it's week 44. And here is my Inktober, my checklist for Inktober. Um, as I was doing them, I was crossing them out. I actually have to cross this out because I did finish it. Um, so let me do that now. So we did, I did finish it already. So here is my Inktober. And as I was doing it, I was crossing them off, but I forgot to cross the last couple of days off so um yeah that's where I got my chart from then I made this um pocket thing uh and it held actually I have to do this for November um it held uh the 
three by four cards, which is cool. This is the flannel and frost kit. This is my favorite one. It's the, the sunflower card. And on the back, I wrote noted, but I didn't write anything in it. And I put fall as a sweater weather. So yeah, and I use washi tape and I punched the holes. Then where this is the Halloween week. So I made a Halloween border type thing. And actually this has to come off forgot to put that away that has to come off uh and so i could reuse it next year <laughs> so here we go here is my halloween um week and i did the candy list and here is my favorite candies for halloween um i did twizzlers swedish fish skittles laffy taffy sour patch almond joy kit kat Twix and candy corn. So I notice I like a lot of sweet stuff, not really candy. So yeah, so that's my list there. And then here is a tab from Christine from Coco Daisy. I just put the autumn tag in there. I should have wrote on here, but I didn't. Uh, but I used my little um, ribbons and stuff to make this pretty thing here. Uh, then I did my quotes for the week. And I did put November 1st on here uh, because I fin wanted to finish it. So November 1st is there. Um, and then here are my favorite photos for the week. And I joined the Book of the Month Club swap. So here are all the books I no longer own. I swapped them out and I have new ones that I can read now. Uh, here's Daisy before her haircut, and this is after her haircut. I hope it's um. And then here is my new desk, and here is Daisy. She loves to cuddle. Look how she sleeps. She like cuddles up right to your neck, and she cuddles up into a ball like that. So I uh, yeah, it's my favorite photos for the week. So here is uh, from. Uh, Christine from Coco Daisy. I just copied what she did. She used the paper. This is a vellum paper. And then she put the sticky things to make a tab divider. So that's that. Here is my week daily to-do list and my meal plan. And watching, reading, loving, listening. And then my weekly spending, which I need to do for November. I forgot to add that. Okay, so here's my list is a lot of lists. Now, this is the list that I was using for the month. And what I did was each week I would move this to the next thing. And I got this off of Pinterest. So I just printed it up. So here's my um, things. And I crossed it off as I was doing it. Um, so that's that. And then here is my list again. I made the little pocket. So the 26th is feeling fulfilled. The 27th, I am amazing. Um, number 28 is indulge. 29 is accomplished in October. Number 30 is current priorities. 31st is favorite costumes. And then I did put November 1st in here. Uh, look forward to this month was here. And on the back, and here is my list for October. This is my journaling prompts for October. Again, I got this off of Pinterest uh, and it worked out really good. I print it smaller so it fits in here. And I, so every day I cross it off and then I move it to the week. So it's in between here. And here is 26. 26 is nine people who helped me. 27 is four things I did this year, with, but wish I did differently. Number 28 is ele elevate mood during hard times. Uh, and 29 is do better. 30 is grateful for. And 31 is I am loving. And yeah, I am. And then November 1st, I use my stamp. This is the last page for um, this October thing. 
uh, and it's, it says number one is grateful for and I use the new a rubber stamp set and I color it in so yeah and I learned Airtable app um, I am putting all my scrapbooking stuff into Airtable which is amazing because now I'm using my stuff and I'm finding my stamps more faster I labeled all my stamps and I sorted them by category so it works out so great the second thing was Coco Daisy Buy Sell Trade Group. I found some Christmas stuff and Christmas stamps I bought. And the third one is the Book of the Month Swap Group. I swapped out seven books this month for seven new ones. And then number four is the Poetry Group with Victoria. And you've been seeing that. I've been doing that every day uh, for the month of November. And then uh, the fifth one is I needed a new wireless mouse and I did get one. My husband got me one because my new desk is far away from my computer. Uh, so now I have a wireless mouse that I can watch my TV and turn my channel from Netflix right here using this new Log Logitech uh, thing that he bought me. So this is it. This I'm putting this in my box. This is where I store my stuff. It's storing away. I may be able to fit November on here as well because this ring is kind of big. So we'll see. But uh, that's what I did for the month of October. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope I gave you some ideas. I really am enjoying journaling in, in this new type thing. And um, I will see you in another video. Thanks for watching.